Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Come on, this is the second live. I don't know what just happened to the live while it was why why it was glitching um, or anything like that. But right now we're gonna pray and come against satanic forces that may come to try to destroy the airways right now that may come to try and uh, 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 come against this live right now. That means that somebody is definitely getting ready to be blessed. People of God, when my lives go to interrupt it like that. So I need you to come in tagging and sharing like crazy right now. The devil just really upset me with that one. But we are back. If you can begin to come in, hit share, tag seven, seven people you love, seven people you care about, seven people that you want to motivate. People of God, watch this. The Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. The only way we can come in agreement for God to do something and to move on your behalf because I'm not in your home. Come on, somebody. So the only way we can come in agreement is if I say something you like, you can do something simple by hitting tag and getting shared. So very quickly, I want to encourage you, people of God, come on, to tag seven people. I ain't coming to play with the devil this morning because I see he not coming to play either. If I just had to end that live just that quick. So let's get all of our good mornings out of the way. Good morning. Hello. I love you. If nobody have not told you today, now baby, let's get to work. Come on, I need you to tag seven people very quickly. Do you know? That's the first seed you can put in the ground by simply tagging and sharing something quickly. God, oh, he, he blesses the obedient spirit. T. Andre, I thank you for tagging and sharing. Tanya, thank you for tagging and sharing. Jay Sean, thank you for tagging and sharing. Conquise, as usual, thank you, Queen, for tagging and sharing. Tamika Irvin, I love you, beautiful. Thank you for tagging and sharing. Alvita Brooks, thank you for tagging and sharing. All my authors are on right now. Tish, thank Thank you for tagging and sharing Ada. Come on. Thank you for tagging and sharing Erica. Thank you for tagging and sharing. Good morning, Alice. I love you. Tag somebody for me. Come on, Sean, Leticia. Thank y'all for tagging and sharing. Come on very quickly. Very quickly, people of God. I need y'all to help me upset the devil right now. And we already know there's a bunch of people. Watch this. They'll catch this live a little bit later on because they're still sleeping from the night before people of God. And watch this. That's fine. But I'm a firm believer that the early bird, it gets the worm. I'm a firm believer, people of God, that who's supposed to be on here will be on here. But we're going to give them time to get on. Y'all know I can't get started until everyone is on here. Who's supposed to be on here, people of God? Come on. I, I want to talk about something serious. On today, watch this, how we as people don't never like to admit that we need help. How we as people for some reason got to act like we got it all together. And watch this, people of God. God been dealing with me and my spirit last night. One of my sisters in Christ brought, uh, brought the word in church, um, our smaller church sessions. And she was just, you know, just talking about how God is going to come through and how we need to be still and trust him, how we need to wait on him and things like that. But watch this. She said two words, people of God, watch this. She said two words that blessed me to my whole soul. She said two words that was confirmation on what I wanted to speak on. It wasn't the words be still because that was her title, but she read a scripture and it started out, Lord, help. Come on, very quickly. Come on, just 120 more seconds. I need you to tag and share like crazy. Blessings upon you for tagging and sharing temperance. Blessings upon you, Alvita, for continuing to tag and share. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. The best thing you can do for your bestie is tag them into an encouraging word. The best thing, come on, Teresa, thank you for tagging and sharing. Come on, come on. Bring me if it's for you, baby. Tag seven other people very quickly. Miss Stephanie, blessings upon you for tagging right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jasmine, I need you to tag somebody, queen. Come on, come on, come on. Psycho D, I need you to tag somebody, queen, so we can go ahead and get started. Come on, come on. Watch this, people of God. She was being still in the word, bless me to my heart because we do need to be still and we do need to trust God and we do need to do this but God has been dealing with my spirit and I don't know if you've seen the post that I put up earlier today I put up a post earlier today people of God and the post was uh, basically saying how oh I don't listen 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 
I just keep getting knocked off. I, 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 I don't know who this message is finna bless. But it just knocked me off and brought me back on again. Come on, people of God. I need y'all praying very quickly. Come on. I need y'all to pray. I need y'all to pray right now and push at the same time. It keep knocking me off and I don't know why. But I need y'all to pray and I need y'all to push at the same time. Come on, tag and share. It knocked about 200 people off and that's okay. I pray they jump back on. Right now, the enemy is, I'm telling you, he's busy. He's busy, he's busy, he's busy. But I'm going to get this message out today. If I got to keep restarting the live, I'm going to get this message out today because I feel like the enemy is, is, is trying to distract us and things like that. Come on in, people of God. This is the second live. Uh, let me talk a little bit about what I got going on uh, and how the Lord was dealing with me this morning. So if you were tagging and sharing, please start tagging and sharing again. Because as you see, just a few minutes ago, my live went out again and just came back in. So it knocked about 200 people off. So I need some people, some prayer warriors. I need some people who need God to do some things for them to not get tired of tagging and sharing right now. I promise you the quickest way you can get blessed is being there for somebody else in the midst of your own trouble. So I already see what the enemy is doing because I got kicked off the live. Literally had to come back on and restart this live. And just now while I was on live, it was asking me to reconnect. So we're going to go ahead and get started. <coughs> Today's message, if you are just now tuning in, is Lord help. Come on, people of God. Shanita uh, Bryan, blessings upon you for tagging and sharing. Tondra Jackson, blessings upon you for continuing to tag and share. Come on, people of God. Watch this. So last night when I went to church, um, Friday nights, we have service for only an hour and a half. And there was a young lady, one of my friends, it was her night to minister. Uh, and the topic was be still, people of God. And I truly believe we are in a season where we do need to be still. But as she was reading different scriptures and different things like that, there was something that began to deal with me in my spirit. She read a scripture, people of God. You better get what I'm saying. And it started out with two simple words, and that was Lord help. I don't know if you've seen this morning, I put a status up on Facebook and I was asking everybody, were they okay? Watch this. And the reason I was asking everybody, was they okay? People of God, watch this. It was because of the simple fact that sometimes we don't want to let people know when we really need God in our life. We don't want to let people know, watch this, when we're going through what we're going through. We don't want to let people know. When we are uh, experiencing difficulties and we need God to show up like never before. we Some people have a hard time with asking not only God for help, but people. Some people have a hard time with saying, I need somebody to stand by my side. Everybody needs a friend. Everybody needs someone. Even strong people need someone. Watch this, people of God. So today's message, if you are just now tuning in, is Lord help. I truly believe that that was Facebook in the airways. Um, sometimes they do that when I get on live. They bother the numbers or they'll stop the live from so many people coming on. It does that. I'm praying for the airways. I know it's nothing demonic. All the people that are being tagged and shared, as you can see, the number to the top is still not moving. 135. That's when you know the enemy it's trying to get in. But as I stated, people will watch this live later. That's how you know when a live is getting ready to be powerful. You better get what I'm saying. Watch this. When the enemy begins to mess with the airways. But right now, before we get started, let's pray against every demonic force. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I come against every demonic force right now coming to interrupt the airways. I decree and declare, Lord God, that the word will go unhindered and it will go forth. That someone will be blessed. God, I ask that you hide me behind the cross so it's you they see. God, I ask that you just give clarity, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, Lord God, for what they need in the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel every satanic force right now and everything that is not like you in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, people of God. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. If you are just now tuning in, today's uplifting, encouraging message, people of God. Is this Lord help? 
I need everybody right now to begin to comment that in capital letters right now. You guys know before I bring the word, I always like to get a definition of what it means so I can break it down uh, for people. Lord, help. The definition of the word help is to assist or to offer to do something by offering services. Once again, people of God, the definition of help is to assist. Or to offer to do something by offering services. Come on, very quickly, I need everybody to comment below. Lord, help people of God watch this. As she began to read scriptures, she read so many scriptures. But this one scripture, it stood out to me because it started out by saying, Lord, help. This live right now is not going to be for everyone. This live is going to be for people who need God to stop by their doorway. This live is not going to be for everybody. This live is going to be for for people who need God to stop by their home. This life is going to be for people, come on somebody, who need God to help them in the situation they're in. Watch this. Without embarrassment. I need somebody to comment below. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. A lot of people can't get help. You better get what I'm saying to you. Because they're too embarrassed to say, I need it. Oh, I don't know about you, but you can never have enough. I don't know about you, but you need God daily. You need him every day just to wake you up. I don't know about you. Come on, somebody. But I need God daily to just help me stay in my right mind. Today's topic. If you are just now tuning in, it's Lord help. And if you was tagged to this live, it's because someone had you in their spirit. Come on, somebody, somebody you love and somebody you care about. Somebody thought about you enough today to want to come on, somebody to encourage you and watch this people of God. I looked up different words of help. One of the words I got was to aid. Some of you are going through what you're going through and a lot of the things you're going through is alone one thing i know about the enemy is when you're going through something when you're going through it in your mind when you're going through it with issues of life and things like that the enemy want to keep you isolated you better get what i'm saying oh i'm going to give some clarity to somebody right now when you are going through what you're going through the enemy wants you to isolate yourself from everyone stay stuck in your house he wants you bound to your bed he wants you sitting in the house just overeating frustrated he wants you to sit in the house broke busted and disgusted. He wants you to sit in the house depressed. He want to keep you from the outside world. You better get what I'm saying. Because once the enemy has you alone, he can take you down. Just so I know you're paying attention, I want you to comment below. He can take you down. He can take you down. When he got you to yourself, to that place where you say, I don't want to pray anymore. When he got you to that place where you say, watch this, I don't want to go to church anymore. When he got you to that place where you say, this God thing ain't working. God ain't answering my prayers. He's upset with me. When he got you to that place, people of God, you better get what I'm saying to you. Where he can isolate you from the world, from people, from things where... You don't want to go out with your friends anymore. Well, you don't want to give anybody advice anymore. You better get what I'm saying. Well, you watch this. Don't even want to uh, 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 be loved on by others anymore. Well, you feel unloved. Well, you feel unimportant. Well, you feel like you're not enough. Well, you feel frustrated. This is when the enemy can come in and take you down. Why? Because you're alone. Oh, if you've been feeling that way lately, you ought to comment below. I'm alone. Oh, tonight, I, uh, not tonight, I'm sorry, this morning. I just need a few honest people on here who don't mind saying I'm alone. I feel alone. I'm sorry, you guys. I just want to turn on the AC. I, I want to talk to a few people this morning who don't mind saying lately I've been feeling alone. Watch this. And it ain't nobody else's fault, baby. I, 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 I isolated myself from everybody. It ain't nobody else's fault. I, I got to this place where I wanted to be alone. It ain't nobody else's fault. I, I, I allowed the enemy to come in and to creep in, to devour me. So I've been depressed. I've been frustrated. I've been, come on, blessings upon to everybody who's being honest on this live. Today's message if you are just now tuning in, people of God, it's, it's Lord help. There are people in this season, people of God, 
because we often think that, you know, God himself is, is going to come and be a blessing. Do you know that the very thing you're praying for while you're praying for it, God can be sending a physical body or a physical human being to help you out. Some of you are saying, Lord, help. The bills are too much. They are beating me down. I'm barely getting by. Some of you are saying, Lord, help. I'm sick of living paycheck to paycheck. It's, it's never enough by the time I cover my bills and I make sure my kids straight. God, I can't do nothing for myself. I don't know what your Lord help may be. It may be a lot different than my Lord help, but I can promise you when you say those two simple things, you don't even realize you begin to dispatch angels. When you, when you say those two simple things like Lord help, you don't even realize you just put God in route to you. When you say those two simple things like Lord help, you don't even realize you just parted heaven. When you begin to say those two simple things like Lord help, you don't even realize Realize that you begin to open doors that no man can shed. Sometimes all it takes is a simple Lord help. Come on, I want to see that thing. Don't get tired of typing that thing today. Lord help. The, the, the very thing you need God to aid you in or to do for you may be different, baby, than what I need God to do for me. But I can promise you when you say those two words, Lord help. Have you ever been in a place, people of God, where it just seems like... Everything is just not going right at that moment. It seems like it's out of your control. Oh, God, I just heard that in the spiritual realm. When that very thing is out of your control, when it's nothing you can do about it, do you hear what I'm saying? That's when you need God to most. He will place you in situations. Watch this, because he knows you so big-headed. He knows you so high-minded. He knows you so uh, 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 used to doing everything on your own. He knows you so used to making a way out of no way for yourself. He knows you miss independent of miss independent. But have you ever been in a situation, baby, where it was nothing? you can do about it. All you could do was trust God. He told me to tell you the one that's watching this video he got you in this situation because you've always been so independent. You ain't need a man. You ain't need God. You ain't need nobody to let you tell it. Come on. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now but you ought to openly comment. You talking about me. You talking about me. All your life you grew up raising a, a, a family full of strong women. In your life you grew up raising a family full of strong men. Come on somebody. My daddy taught me how to fend for myself because he never wanted me to have to depend on a man for nothing. But you hear what I'm saying. Even the independent people even the strong people, even the people who think they got it all together, even the people who think they don't need anybody, God will put you in a place. You better get what I'm saying. That will bring you to your knees where you have no control, mighty God, over the situation where all you got to do is trust him. Oh, I need you to comment below, Lord, help, Lord, help, Lord, help. I know you didn't want to hear this message on this Saturday morning because you rather hear God is blessing you and money is coming your way, but no, we need to deal with. Come on, some things that are really going on. We need to deal with what's behind the fake smile. We need to deal with what's behind the, I'm okay, don't worry about me. We need to deal with what's really going on behind closed doors. Lord, help. I realize it's so easy to put on a smile. I realize it's so easy to act like you're happy. I realize it's so easy to act like everything going good. I realize it's so easy to pretend in this season. Why? Because fake is the new thing. Oh, I need somebody to catch that in the spirit and type that thing in capital letters. letters. Fake is the new thing. Do you, you, you can be the realest person in the world. You can tell a person how you feel and they still got a problem with you. Why? Because fake is what's acceptable in this season. When people ask you, are you okay? They expect for you to say, yes, everything all right. But if what, what, what if somebody asks you, are you okay? And you, you, you shock them by saying, no, I'm not. You begin to tell them everything you battling and everything you going through. Baby, they might not even know how to respond. Why? Because fake is what's accepted in this season. Fake is the new thing. And because fake is a new thing, we all have gotten custom, custom to it. Devil is a liar. All you got to do is say, Lord, help. 
So as she began to read this scripture last night, and as I told you, she, she talked about a bunch of different things about being still and things like that. But God was already dealing with me with the, with, with, with that spirit of, of helping. God said it's so many of his people who need help in this season. It's so many people going through so many things. It's so many people in times um, um, in times of trouble, it's, it's so many people at their breaking point. It's so many people depressed. It's so many people frustrated and overwhelmed and we're missing it. We're missing it because we feel the only way a person can be going through something if we, if we see tears falling from their eyes. We feel a, a, the only way a person can be having a bad day is if they physically tell us no. There are people going through some things, people of God, and watch this. They won't even open their mouths about it because they were taught and brought up to stand their own. They were taught and brought up to be independent. They were taught and brought up to, to, to watch this. When you say you need help, that's a sign of weakness. I need somebody to comment below. I'm not weak. I'm not weak. I'm not weak. I just need God. I'm not weak. I just need a little help with what I'm facing right now. Baby, I'm not weak. It's just this thing. It's too much for me. I'm not weak. I just feel overwhelmed. I'm not weak. It's just there's a there's a breaking point going on. I'm not weak. I'm just going through some things. So, Lord, help. I was watching a TV show, People of God, before. I want to say yesterday afternoon or something like that. And while I was watching this TV show, watch this people of God, there were, uh, I think it's called 911. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it was just different dispatch calls coming in and they were showing us what the dispatch operators, they have to go through, watch this, doing the 911 call. And there was this one lady who called in, her boyfriend was shot. Let me tell you what she called in and said. She called in screaming and hollering. And the lady said, 911, may I help you? She started screaming and said, Lord, help. Help, I need you to send somebody. Send somebody, my boyfriend been shot. And you can tell she was hysterical. You can tell she, she needed emergency at that moment. You can tell, you know, this was a life and death situation. You can tell she needed the ambulance and the police dispatch immediately. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Right now, but sometimes, baby, you got to get on your knees and scream to the top of your voice and say, Lord, help. This is a life and death situation. I'm two seconds from losing my mind. I'm two seconds from walking out. I'm two seconds from saying I'm done. I'm talking to some people, people of God who have been in some life and death situations. And she got on the phone. And she was screaming and she said, I don't think they, they said, did you see the men who shot him? What they had? Oh, mighty God. She couldn't even describe. You better get what I'm saying. How to shoot a look. She was so focused on just getting him help. You could ask me that when you get here right now. I, I just need to know how far is the help away. I need you to let me know how far the ambulance is out. How long before the police gets here? Because my boyfriend is bleeding to death. She said, Lord, help. Oh, Jesus. She said, Lord, help. Send help. I'm telling you, people of God, those, 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 those two words, Lord, help. My God. Shifts things immediately. Lord, help. Come on. It dispatches things, dispatches angels your way. Lord, help. Whenever we are going through something, we don't want to call on them into it. It's a life and death situation. I, I'm talking about me. I heard about who God was. But baby, I didn't call on him. I didn't find him. I didn't accept him as my Lord and Savior. I didn't know how to pray properly. I didn't fall. Why? You better get what I'm saying. I didn't fall down and call on him until I was in a situation where Miss Bossy Independent Shakira couldn't get herself out of. So I'm sitting inside a jail cell, going to court multiple times. I'm sitting inside a jail cell. And the, the lawyer can't help me out. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting inside a jail cell, people of God. You better hear what I'm saying. And my fate lied in the hands of somebody else. It was at that moment where I said, oh my God, God ain't playing anymore. I remember falling to my knees inside that cell. You better hear what I'm saying. It was nothing, nobody. And, 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 and people of God, let me tell you. God will place you in situations to show you, watch this, this is going to bless somebody. The, the, the person or the people you depend on to be there, right? The person 
or the people you depend on to help you out of this situation, to keep you in the right mind state. Why you going through what you going through? God would allow them not to be there so you can call on, on him. I remember I had just went to court and people of God, I was going to court so much. All of my family stopped coming. I was going to court so much. My kids wasn't there. My husband stopped coming. My family stopped coming. It was me and God. I need somebody to comment below me and God, me and God. This lady was insistent people of God with giving me these 15 years. She was sick of seeing my face. She was sick of seeing me come in her courtroom. She was sick of me with my foolishness. She was sick of me saying I ain't never coming back. And she insisted, people of God, she insisted on giving me those 15 years. What do you do when you're in a place, come on somebody, where you're depending on people to remind you that everything going to be okay and they're not there? What do you do in a place, people of God, you better get what I'm saying. When you need somebody to just love on you and tell you I got your back and they're not there. What if God would allow you to be in that situation? To bring you to your knees where all you can do is say, Lord, help. I couldn't tell my husband to help. I couldn't tell my kids to help. I couldn't tell my favorite auntie to help. I couldn't call on my cousins to help. I couldn't depend on nobody to help me but God. So it was that moment in that cell I remember making calls. All day long, home, trying to call my husband, couldn't get him. For about two days straight, I remember breaking down inside the cell. My mind was going. I couldn't speak to my kids. Two days straight, I couldn't reach my family. For two days straight, do you hear what I'm saying? I remember them saying, it's time to go back into your cell. It was shift change. I don't know who I'm blessing with this. There's about to be a shift change that's about to happen on your behalf. When you are incarcerated, people of God, and shift change come, they got to put all the inmates behind the cells because the guards begin to rotate. The morning shift leaves and the night shift begin to come on. You better get what I'm saying. The shift could not take place until God had us in cells to ourselves. Oh, God, I can scream. I feel God. The shift could not take place. They couldn't exchange where morning officers would go on and night officers would begin to come until they had everybody isolated inside their cells. They couldn't move. They couldn't do anything until, watch this, they did an inmate count and everybody was locked away. You better get what I'm saying. Some of you people of God, God has you locked away in this season. He had you all to yourself. He had to put you in a cell where you see that everybody you depended on wasn't there so you can fall on your knees and call on him. You better get what I'm saying to you. It's not by coincidence that God is removing people out of your life that shouldn't be there. It's not by coincidence that you ain't vibing with the same crew anymore. It's not by coincidence that you and your husband or you and your wife ain't on one accord. It's not by coincidence, people of God. That your kids and your family haven't been there the way they should. It's not by coincidence that you feel like you are in this place all alone. God got to lock you away because there's about to be a shift change. It takes for you to have to be arrested below, before to understand where I'm coming from. Anytime there's a shift change of officers, whether you are in jail, whether you're in prison, whether you watch this, uh, wherever you need to be, even at the hospital, there's a shift change that takes places with nurses. Whenever there's a shift change, you better get what I'm saying. It's the morning shift job. You better get what I'm saying to place you inside your cell, place you inside your bed. You better get what I'm saying so they can prepare and shift change for the next officers to come on. God is placing you in your cell. We can be out there playing cards in the day room. And I used to hate when they'd be like, shift change, like go to your cells. We used to be so upset because we used to be in the middle of our game. And it's the only little bit of freedom you have to come out and, you know, watch TV. And it's time for you to go back in. Doing shift change, it's usually quiet. Doing shift change, 
You got one or two options. You can sit on your car to play bed, uh, play cards, or you can open your Bible or read a book. Doing shift change, you feel isolated. You feel like you have no control. Why? Because they tell you when to eat. They tell you when to bathe. They tell you when to sleep. Basically, you're locked inside a room until they release you. I don't know who I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to right now, but God, he has you isolated in this season for a reason because there's about to be a shift change on your behalf. The enemy, watch this has been sending his little imps and it's been one thing after another you've been going through so much you've been watching this experience and so much pain you've been struggling come on you've been frustrated you've been overwhelmed but God is saying there's about to be a shift change oh I need somebody to comment that thing in capital letters because this time around when the shift change take place it'll be watch this a shift of angels it'll be a shift of people who got your back for real for real It'll be a shift of people who honor you. It'll be a shift of people who love you. It'll be a shift of people who say they'll never walk out on you and mean it. Oh, Jesus. Somebody ought to comment below and mean it and mean it. A lot of us have been told, I always got your back, but people that have walked out and have left you at the most. Watch this down this moment where you needed them the most. Can I get somebody to testify and just comment, amen, Biflo? This next shit. It's about to bring on a team who can build you up stronger than that ever before. This next shift change is about to bring on some people. You better get what I'm saying. Who got your back to the end. This next shift change is about to bring on somebody who can really love you for you. This next shift change. You better get what I'm saying. It's about to bring on, bring on some, some people who can help push you to where God needs you to be. Somebody ought to comment below shift change. So when we was incarcerated and the shift change would take place, they would send us all back to our cells where we had no choice but to be alone until they release us again. And once we were released and we walked out of the jail cell doors, you better get what I'm saying, back into the day room we walked and we seen different officers because a shift change had took place. People of God, if you are just now tuning in, today's message is Lord help. The word help means to assist or offer to do something by offering services. Psalm 107 and 28, watch this people of God. Psalm 107 and 28 says, Lord help, they cried in their trouble. My God. Sometimes you got to hold on to just two or three scriptures to get you through that thing that you're going through. Psalm 107 and 28 says, they said, Lord help. They cried. In their trouble, Psalm 109 and 26, people of God say, help me, O Lord, save me according to your will. Psalm 109 and 26 says, help me, O Lord, save me according to your will. We never want to be in the will of God. In order to get God to come and help you, better hear what I'm saying. It's going to take two words. I need somebody to comment below two words. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The only way I can come in agreement with you, people of God, the only way I can come in agreement with you, because I'm not sitting right there in your presence. The only way I can come in agreement with you is when I say something and you love it, you can comment, you can tag, but baby, you got to find some kind of way to come in agreement with what I'm saying out of my mouth. When I move, you move just like that. Those two words are action words. Jesus, you got to open your mouth to say, Lord, help. And you ought to be thanking God that you can open your mouth on this day. There are people silent and cannot speak. There are people bound to a hospital bed and cannot move. You ought to be grateful this morning to say, Lord, help. I need your help. I'm not ashamed to say it. God, I need you like never before in my life. Lord, help. Your help may be different, people of God. From my help, Psalm 109 and 26 said, Help me, O Lord, save me according to your will. Psalm 107 and 28 says, Lord, help. They cried in their time of trouble. Matthew 15 and 25 said, But she came and began to bow down, saying, Lord, help. Let me stop right there. Can I keep it real with you for a moment? Sometimes you got to change your posture. Of prayer. God may not have made it to your home yet. Because you standing up praying. God may have, may have not made it to your home yet. Because you sitting on in the bed. You get what I'm saying? Saying Lord help. Sometimes when you in desperate situations. Baby you got to fall to your knees and cry to God. 
I always tell us women that we ain't got a problem with getting on our knees to please a man. But baby, when we need God to move, you too lazy to fall down on your knees and say, God, I need you. Devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Matthew 15 and 25 said, but she came. I love it because they don't say, but he came. God know watch this house women are. He know we'll get on our knees for everything else but him. I'm saying that so nobody don't get offended. You better get what I'm saying. In Matthew 15 and 25, it said, but she came and began to bow down saying, Lord, help me. I dare you, the one that's watching this video on today, to comment below, Lord, help me. John 16 and 33 says, watch this, and this is how God replies to us. Watch this. It, it says, it says, uh, I have came to you. I have given you this so that you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but I have overcame the world. God never said it'll be easy. God never said that you won't experience some things. He said, in this world, there will be trouble, but I've overcame the world. Baby, the world got to submit to me. In Isaiah 41 and 10, he tells us, don't panic. I am with you. No need to fear. I am your God. Baby, what you scared of? God said, don't panic. Oh, I need everybody to put that in capital letters. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. I am with you. No need to fear. I am your God. What you afraid of, sis? What you afraid of, brother? God won't do it. He still got time to do it. He's saying, don't panic. You tripping over nothing. You stressing your own self out because I got this under control. Lord, help. Philippians 4 and 6 says, he says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition. Petition God for what you need him to help you with. If you are just now tuning in, this morning message was Lord, help. Lord, help God. God, I need you to help me out with my relationship. God, I, I need you to lend me a hand with my finances. God, I need you to give me some type of assistance with my health. God, I need you to be of use to when it comes to my children. God, I, I need you to, to do me a favor. You get what I'm saying? When it comes to me starting this business, God, I need you to pitch in and help me get those car keys or those home keys. God, I need your help. Somebody ought to say, Lord, help me out. Help me. Help me out. God, I'm, I'm at a place. And it, right now, I ain't trying to be independent. I ain't trying to act like I got it all together. But Lord, I just need you to help me out. God, I, I, I'm not coming to you on behalf of my husband. I ain't coming to you on behalf of my wife. God, I'm not coming to you on behalf of my, my pastors. I ain't coming to you on behalf of my children. God, I'm not coming to you on behalf of my aunts and my family. God, I've been the first responder to everybody else. I need your help. Lord, help. There are people, people of God, that oh, could you? There, there, there are there are people, people of God, that only call on you when they need something. There are people you can you can go to bat for, but when you need them to show up the most, they can't. God will never disappoint us. He might not come when you need him right away. But he's a last minute on time. God, I don't know who this message was for. And I didn't plan on being on here this long. Come here, Tariah. Come here. Okay, come here. Wipe her nose real quick. Go in the room and tell Papa to wipe your nose. I, I, this message of people of God, it wasn't going to be for everybody. Because some people, they just too independent for themselves. They don't like to never let nobody know that they need. Elijah, I'm on live. I'm on live. They don't, they don't, they don't like to just wipe her nose. They don't like to never uh, say that they need anybody. So they so used to, you know what I mean? Like being Miss Independent. And, you know, my dad raised me that way. I've never needed no man for nothing. Do you hear what I'm saying? But God. But sometimes even this, that Miss Independent person needs somebody to show up for them. Don't be too independent to where you don't even need God. Don't be so independent 
to where you got to always act like you got it all together and you're emotionally deteriorating on the inside. Don't be that person, people of God. You better hear what I'm saying. That you walk around and your baby edges are laid, baby. You walk around with your Michael Kors purse, your Gucci uh, 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 shirt on and your, your Louis Vuitton shoes. But then on the inside, you're broken. On the inside, you 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 know you 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 going through some things that people don't even know because they look at you as Miss Independent all the time. Come here, Taraya. Come here, Grandma. I want you to come get on video with me. Don't don't come here, Mama. Come here. Okay, come here. Bring your chips and come here. Don't be that person, people of God. I'm gonna have my grandbaby pray for y'all today. Come here, Mama. Don't be don't be that person who is so independent. My my. My, we, we went to Family Dollar last night. Her granddaddy gave her some money and he, uh, she went and she said, Grandma, I want makeup and I want nails. And I almost passed out because she only three. She's such a girly girl. And, um, that's why she got a little hair, her princess bows in. You see her little bows she done put them in, put them in herself. And she got a little makeup on her eyes a little bit, if y'all could see. Um, but, I, 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 I'm going to let my granddaughter pray for y'all and then I'm going to pray for y'all because I truly believe that God's people are hurting. And that <clears throat> there's a lot of us going through things and because of our position or people look up to us, we can't never get on here and say, be quiet a minute, mama. We can't never get on here and say, God, we need you to show up for us. Or we can't say pray for us because we need help. You understand? So I'm, I'm, I'm today this prayer is going to be for the strong people. For the people who always got to be there for everybody else. For the people who just want somebody to show up on their behalf. For the people who has been the first responder to everybody else, but just need God to help them. I need everybody to comment below, Lord, help. So I'm teaching my three-year-old grandbaby how to pray for people, lay hands on people. She's going to lay hands on me, but she's going to be praying for y'all because y'all are not physically here. And when she's finished, people of God... I just want you to comment below in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay? So we're going to get to right to pray. Can you pray, baby? Yes? Okay. Come can on. I pray for you? I can't hear you. What did you say? Can I pray for you? Yes, you can pray for me. God. God. Help us. Help us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Could you do it one more time okay. so they can hear you? Can you? Hold on. Wait, my mom. Hold on. Somebody's calling in. One more time. She gonna lay hands on me. You act like this baby is laying hands on you, okay? Go ahead. Can I pray for you? Yes, you can pray for me. God. God. Help us. Help us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Say God gonna bless you. God gonna bless you. And he's on the way. He's on the way. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's getting better. It's getting better. Trust God. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you sing for them? You can. You gonna sing for them? Cover your mouth. Cover your mouth. Okay. Cover your mouth. You ready? Can you sing for them? Yes. Sing for them. You can. Okay. Hold on. You done? Okay. Come on. You can. Be quiet. You ready? Come on. Sing. Turn around. You can do all things but fail because you never lost the battle and you never lost the battle i know i know you'll never fail one more time you can do all things cover your mouth come on you can do things but fail because you never lost the battle and you never lost the battle. I know. I know. You'll never fail. Thank you. Okay, people of God. Thank y'all so much. Uh, I want to give you an opportunity to sow right now. And we're going to sow into the fact that you've never lost a battle. What I want you to put in the memo session when you're sowing is Lord help. The seed amount today, people of God, is going to be $25. Some of you are going to sow $25. Some of you are going to sow $125.
Some of you is going to be $50 and 25 cents. Some of you people of God is going to be $50. You're going to sow double because you need to sow for you and for somebody else, people of God. But watch this. The amount you're sowing, people of God, is $25. The number is pent to the bottom. And in this season, watch this. You're saying, God, I'm, I'm unashamed of saying I need you. God, I'm, I'm unashamed of saying I don't want to fail. My baby sung a song and she said, you can do all things but fail. So I'm the, watch this. I'm believing out of the mouth of the baby today. That your help is on the way. And I always tell people, pray about, pray about it before you send your seed my way. I want you to, I want you to pray about it uh, before you send your seed. Pray about it. Don't just send the seed. Pray about it. And watch God do it. There were already people uh, sowing. The number is pent to the bottom. 754-246-0580. Some people, people of God, watch this. When you begin to sow that seed, you might not be sowing for you. You might be sowing for somebody else. But I'm believing for God to send help. I'm believing for God to dispatch angels immediately. Today's topic, if you are just now tuning in, was Lord help. And watch this. The number is pinned to the bottom for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, and PayPal. The phone number is 754-246-0580. When you put that in cash app, Dr. Shakira M should pop up. There are so many people sewing right now. I, I have my phone on mute. Shout out to you from Nassau, Bahamas, Queen. Watch this, people of God. The seed amount is 25. I'm believing God to do it within the next 25 hours. What you're doing, what, what you're needing him to do. I'm believing God to do it within the next 25 hours. Some of you are going to sell $25. Some of you are going to sell $50. Some of you are going to sow $75 because you need to sow times three for you, your husband, and your child. Some of you are going to sow $125. Some of you are going to sow $50.25. But you better put the number 25 in the ground. Some of you is going to be $250. Some of you people of God is going to be $80.25. You might want to sow your own favorite number, 33 and 25. Some of you is going to be $25.25. But I'm believing God to do it within the next 25 hours. I, I, I'm believing him to do it. And as you sold, I need you to comment below. I sold. I sold. I sold. Some of you people of God, you didn't have it to give, but you tagged people into this life. May God bless you, Dad. Bless you even more because of your obedience. God knows your heart. He knows if you have it to sow. If you don't have it to sow, you know if you need to sow or not. God may be telling you, don't sow it to me. Sow it to your own pastor. But baby, you better put a $25 seed in the ground. And you better consult with God first. $125. $50. Because you got to sow for you and somebody else. $75. Because you sowing for you and two other people. But I'm believing that he's sending help. He's sending someone to aid you. To be a, a, of assistant of. Don't be so independent. Because we, we, we get like that sometimes where we get so independent, where we forget that we need God. We get so independent that we don't want to admit that the person who there for everybody else needs somebody to be there for them. No, baby. Today's message, if you are just now tuning in, is Lord, help. Help God. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm in a situation where I can't do it by myself. Help. Blessings upon you for sowing to Wanna. Cash App is 754-246-0580. The number is picked to the bottom. Dr. Shakira M will pop up. You got to put the whole phone number in because people have made fake cash apps. Dr. Shakira M will pop up. Zelle, Chime, and PayPal is 754-246-0580. Believe God even if you don't have it. There were, if you go on my page, I put up a testimony. Somebody inboxed me yesterday. And she was saying, Evangelist Shakira, when you called that $27 C, I didn't have it to sow at the time. But I prayed for God to provide for me to sow that seed. And the next day, I don't know how that to hit a cash out. I didn't ask questions. I was too busy thanking God for it. Seven hundred and something dollars get her account. And she sold. She was able to sow. The next day, I'm believing God to do it. 
Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. I've been following everybody who followed me. You can reach me there. Follow me on Instagram. I only got one page, evangelist.shakira. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFatten. Listen, people of God, if you have family that don't watch social media, don't have social media, all of my lives, I save them and put them on YouTube as soon as I get off. Remember, tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, the revival starts. It was supposed to start last week. Facebook blocked me for no reason and unblocked me, said they made a mistake. People of God, tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, kicks off our 30-day social media revival. Tune in here. Every night, I got some heavy hitters coming on that ain't coming to play with demonic forces. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Go put that $25 seed in the ground. $125, $250, $60.25, $2.50, $10.25, $75 because you saw it for you and two other people. Be led by God. In the memo section, I want you to put Lord help. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Take care.